I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, but it's given me issues. It's knocked me off three times. So if it knocks me off, hang tight. I'll keep coming back until, until I can't come back anymore. I'm... I'm going to YouTube here to see if anybody's come in or see if I'm still live. <laughs> there I am. Hi, Candy. Hi, Allie Kay. Yeah. Boy, I've, I've been kicked off twice and I had a hard time getting back. I had to restart. Hi, Ann. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Nancy. If it kicks me off, just be patient. I'll be back. I'm going to leave the other one, which I think is processing. I'm going to leave it up. Uh, I had a little issue, but Terry gave me a super chat, and I want to keep that. Arlene is lurking today. Okay, Arlene, that's perfectly okay. Hi, Candy. Hi, Teresa Spitfire. Hi, Angie. Sherry. All right, I was showing my... Santos dolls. I'm going to do another one, but I was explaining how I found these little scissors. And what I want to do is make a little scissors holder for here. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this spinning wheel here. I'm going to cut a little piece of fabric here. This is fabric that uh, Journey gifted to me. And this might even be too big. Let's cut it just a teeny bit smaller. Maybe I can cut around that. Beautiful. Piece here. And I want to put it... I'm going to move this little dot. Because I want to put this in here. Right there. And I want to put one of these little scissors on there. So I'm going to put the scissors on first. Let me zoom in because I know you guys aren't seeing. Here, let me zoom in. Welcome to everybody who's come in. And I want to try something else with these Santos dolls. Now, the Santos dolls, uh, I got the Rosemary's kit. And I haven't started working on Rosemary's yet. But I have an idea for another one. Well, actually, a couple more. Okay, I'm going to put the scissors right here. And I think I want it so the little handles peek out. So I'm going to use some tacky glue or glossy accent. I think I'll use tacky glue. And, yeah, I got my paintbrush all wet. Let me wipe this off. Hi, Jersey. Welcome, welcome. Jersey lady. Who gave the dental hygienist a little guff. <laughs> like, be careful what you do with my mouth. <laughs> there. Now, I think this will dry clear, but it really won't matter because I'm going to put that fabric over it. So I want the scissors to kind of peek out. And then I'm going to take this piece of fabric and put over it here. Just like that. And we're going to let that, we're going to let that dry. I'm just going to set it up here and let it dry. Put the cap back on my glue. Now let me show you what my brainstorm is for these for my next Santos doll. <laughs> Although I'm not gonna, I'm, I might use this to cut another little scissors sheaf. I think it's spelled sheaf, C A T A F, a sheaf, a scissors sheaf. It's a little pocket that holds your scissors. That beautiful fabric came from Journey. And what I want to do, let me show you, let me show you, Bob 
bobby pins. <laughs> bobby pins for the legs. I'll need eight of them. And it'll be about as tall as this one. Now, I, I want to make another one, too, but we'll start with this. Why aren't these coming out? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And I'll just put my bobby pins back. And I still have the circle from the other day. So I'm going to cut a piece of cardboard and mark the circles here. And we're just going to hot glue. Let me, well, I don't need to set up my hot glue yet because I'm, I need to cut the cardboards. And, and I really like this thick cardboard. I think it's book board. And I'm going to have to get some more. I'm going to have to get some more of it. It's really stiff. Hi, Susan Hill. Your meatloaf came out good, Angie? Good. Let's put it this way. And let me grab a, a pen. Hi, Ashley, a.k.a. Admiral Catherine. Welcome, welcome. And attache tapers. And Candy, and Barbara, and Kimberly, and Jersey. Am I missing anybody that I didn't get the first time? Dark Woods Sanctuary, a.k.a. Hags Hollow. Good morning. Or it's afternoon here. You must be out in, on the West Coast. Teresa Spitfire, Artsy Nancy, Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society, Candy, Angie, Angie, Nancy, Mina. And Allie K. Okay, that's as far up as I can go. So let me just kind of trace around here. And this does not have to be a perfect circle because I'm going to cover it with a napkin anyway. Now my little slots do not have to be as deep. But I am going to put them in slots here. So let me uh, let me mark these here, here, and they don't have to be exact. They just have to be there, <laughs> there, and there. Now the next one needs to slant in a little. But I'm going to use this. Let's see. Did I use what did I use this? Didn't I? To make it just a bit smaller. Yeah, I can use the, or I could use that one, but I think I'll use this one. Oh, did I use this one to make this, I think? I think I used this and this. So I guess I will use the bottom. And a circle and a circle. And we need to use the same I think I'll cut this out first because I think it'll be easier for me to mark those. So I'm going to cut these out of this cardboard. Arlene says hello to everybody. I was kind of looking at chat here. Just as long as it's not a spider hello. <laughs> Hi, Carla. Yeah, I thought if Becky wasn't going to play, this might be an opportunity for me to catch up. I was up this morning, but I kind of like Becky. I just didn't have the, I just, I didn't have the oomph to get up and do my stream this morning. So I thought maybe I would do it this afternoon. See how hard this is to cut? It's almost as hard to cut as plastic as cardboard is. Can I just twist this off? Yeah. 
and then we'll cut. And cut around here. Thank you, Teresa. I don't know if anybody regularly comes on on Wednesday afternoons besides Becky. Becky, if she sometimes she comes on Wednesday evenings and sometimes she comes on Wednesday afternoons. But if I'm streaming when somebody else is, I apologize. All right, I'm going to let's see, let's mark these like this. They don't have to be perfect, perfect. They just have to be generally perfect. And then I'm just going to set this here and mark these. I didn't mark that one all the way through. I tell you, these dolls are so fun to do. Now, I need to collage on here. I say that. <laughs> I need to collage a napkin. And I might have to open a napkin. Let's see what I have. I've been putting my napkin in this little folder here. Let me pull it out. Hold the phone. I have to pull it so nothing else pulls out at the same time. Let's see what I have here. I might have one that's already been open. But maybe not. Ooh, I like this, though. Pull that out. Let's see what I have. I've got this. But here's this one's been opened. And this one. Let's do this one with all the text. Let's do that. I'll pull out that other one too, just in case I need it. Because then I won't have to bother with taking the napkin layers apart. Let's see. Can I... Maybe I need to turn my camera just a little. Welcome everybody who's come in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And... Let's see. It. I I did think I just used a glue stick to put this down with. I can't. I don't even remember. And I do one side. A glue stick, I think, will work. <laughs> oh, let's do the text here. And get the butterfly on it. Come on, open up for me before the glue dries. Let's get the butterfly. Well, I don't think we're going to. Well, we'll get a part of it. Right in there. And I don't know, can I see the cut marks? Not very well. Let's cut around that. Barbara said, no lunch today, so I'll be making pizza for dinner. Yummy. He used to call them Robert pins because his wife was Bobby, and he called her Roberti. So they were, they're, <laughs> they're not Bobby pins, they were Rob Roboti pins, Robot, Robot pin, Robert pins. Like Roberta. Robert pins. Yep, we're going to use uh, bobby pins for the legs on this one. But I have another one that I, I have two more that I want to do. But we'll, we'll see how this one comes out first. And I want to do the one that uh, 
<laughs> I want to do the one that Rosemary sent. I did buy her kit. But I am having such fun making those. Now this one, I do not think I'll do a Penelope doll on this. Since I'm using... Since I'm using bobby pins, I thought it might be fun to do something 1950s style. You know, like, I don't know, a pattern piece or maybe a lady with an apron on or something like that. Uh, something, something more... That where you would see a bobby pin. Bobby pins were big and you know it'd be fun to do pin curls, wouldn't it? On on the doll. Do pin curls on the doll. <laughs> uh the these bobby pins would be too big, but you could make little wire bobby pins and do pin curls <laughs> or hair rollers. Put that put her hair up in rollers. That would be fun too, wouldn't it? since we're doing bobby pins for the base, for the cage. Oh, I might have to mark this again because I, I think I'll mark it on the back. I forgot to, I forgot. Here, let's do this. Oops, oops. Hi, Lynette. You need some dippity too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, some dippity do. <laughs> that would be fun. I used to put my hair in high school. I used bobby pins, or more in junior high. Let's go ahead and cut this. Just little slits. We don't need big slits for the... Well, you know, do I even need slits? Well, I do think I'll put them in like this, though, and do the same type of thing. Uh, because I want the little... See how they're bent? See how the bobby pin is bent like a little shoe? I want those to go on the outside the same way my typewriter key did. If I put it flat, they would all be going around. Although I could do, you know, one facing this way and one facing that way. But I don't like that. I like them going on the inside here. So, like. And I think I had to, even on those typewriter keys, I had to cut a little notch. On these slits. And it fills with the... Uh, the super glue feels it. But in order to get this to fit in, and I might have to cut it a little bit more too. Now this would be the base. So this would actually come down here. Let's go ahead and cover this one. I'll come back to cutting them in a minute. And let's see. It depends on how... how slanted in these go. These are about the same size, so I'm going to stick with this size. And the top of this, the top of this one is a little bit, I think I need another one, just a little bit larger than that, because I made a, I made a, a second base here. And I painted that one all black. On here so I'm gonna do the same thing here but let me put my glue uh, on the top here let's see what should I put uh, I could put the this flower I could put that flower on the top or I could put the this one I think I'll do this one yeah. Can you show the doll? You haven't seen it yet. Well, it's not quite done. 
here it is for as far as it's done. Uh, let me bring it down a little because I am zoomed in. And see, it has a little, it has a little uh, tube here. Whoops. I have to get it centered. Hold on. Let me see where I am on here. There. Right? Now you can kind of see it. It's got a little tube that I filled with a little, uh, little glass tube cylinder that I filled with whatnots beads and a little wrench and what and then over on this side it has a little part of a glass beaded necklace over here and then I I use typewriter keys I use those typewriter keys for the base and I painted my Penelope myself here and I put a little butterfly pin now I want to give some eyelash yarn to put behind her and I thought I had some red bling I've been looking for it. I don't know what I did with it. It might have fallen over the cliff. And I'm going to put little red and yellow bling on here for, for the pins. And eyelash yarn will go back here. And I might even put something in here because I've got room for it on the back here. Um, I'm going to take this green. I could use these for the bling too. The little green dots. I'm going to take them off. I have something else that I'm going to put on here because I didn't have enough to go around. But there it is for now, Susan. Now let me go ahead and... So, we'll just work on these. I love the idea of maybe doing... Oh, you know what? Doll hair. Oh, what did I do with that doll hair? Brown doll hair with the, <laughs> with the pin curls. I'll have to hunt it out. Yeah, pin curls with the bobby pins with the brown doll hair. You know, that curly brown doll hair? Yeah, because it's all curly anyway. I'll have to hunt it out. I'll do that later tonight. We won't get this one all done today. Let's cut this. Now, I don't really have to cover this side because it's going to be facing down. I'm going to cut one more just a little bit bigger than this. One more that's between these two sizes here. And that will be what the what your, you see this black is. And that will be resting on top of these bobby pins. So let me do that right now. And let me get a piece. I don't think I can get out. Oh, I might be able to cut it just a little bit bigger right in here. Right in there. And I'm going to guesstimate here. It won't be a perfect circle, but I don't care if it's not a perfect circle. I do have a compass, but we're just going to we're going to eyeball it here. That might be a little too large. We'll see. I can always trim it down. I need to put my pen on a string. That would work too, but we'll do it this way. So I'm about done. It's it's not going to be perfect. I just may, need to make sure that it's smaller than this. Although it doesn't matter because I'm going to be cutting slits in it. I think it can I think if I cut just a little bit smaller here, I'll be okay. So it'll be bigger than this, but smaller than this. And I think that'll work. <sighs> Hi, Violet. Welcome, Violet. And Carla, did I say hello to you? Susan Hill, welcome, welcome. Oh, I said hello to Susan. 
Do, 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 do. Welcome everybody who's come in. I think this is real book board because it is very stiff. And I love it because it's stiff. It's not a flexible book board. I'm not sure where I got it. Now this one I'm just going to uh, yeah, see it's much it's smaller, which is good. This one I'm just going to paint. I'm not going to have to worry about putting a And I might save this. And like I said, this doesn't have to be round. Perfectly round. It just has to be looking round. <laughs> it sort of looks round. There. Alright. So see, this will go on here. And then those bobby pins will fit. Well, actually... Yeah, I do have those. I have little slits on those. And they I I covered that with um I put them in there and I was so worried about them. There is actually another base under here. So I might have 3. We'll see. I don't know if I need 3 here. Let's let's mark this. Well, I'll mark it after I paint it. Let's paint it first. I could, I could make it cover it too, just to have it covered. But I think I like it painted. I like the contrast, I think. Let's get out the black. And I'm just gonna take this, this journal off of my desk. This is my brush. Well, actually, this is what I use to wipe my... You can do it that way. And then I'm just going to take it and put it like that. <laughs> We're going to paint this. Just need a dab. Wait till you see what else I'm going to do. Where's another little brush to hold this with? I need to hold on to it while I'm painting it. Rosemary Morris got me started on doing this. Rosemary, this is all Rosemary's fault, you know. Oh, you guys are chatting away. Let me dry this. It'll dry fast. I might have to make two of these. I'm not sure. It depends on how deep I put those. Let's just... We'll, we'll experiment on this. I'm not... I don't remember. I'd have to go back and... It almost looks like I have three... I have a small one, a large one, and then another small one. I don't know if I can get away with two on this. We'll see. I remember uh, I was worried. The reason I did that was because the ends of those typewriter keys were sharp. And I coated them with that blue, and then I covered up the the coating with another cardboard layer. All right. And let's dry that. I don't know if I can get away. I should, because these are bobby pins, I should be able to get away with two. These don't have sharp ends.
I don't know what I did with that doll hair. I'm going to have to hunt out that doll hair. I remember seeing it and thinking, oh, what do I need this doll hair for? <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to mark it on this side. And I'm going to mark it with a white pen, if I can find it here. And let's just put it here. Tanya! Tanya, 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 Tanya. You guys, <laughs> I have to stop every time you guys do this and write your names down. You gave me something the other morning, Tanya, didn't you? You gave me something on the 14th. Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for... For the support. You guys, you are just encouraging me so very much. Yeah, I can't tell you what an encouragement this is. It is truly appreciated. Let's see. I think I'll cut save that out. I think you guys are all amazing. Now, uh, and I, I, I'll say it. I'll keep saying it every time you guys give me something like that. It's all going to come back to the, the people who come to chat over. As soon as I stabilize at 8,000, we are going to start. Whoops, I need to bring that in a little. We're going to start uh, doing some giveaways. And they aren't going to be huge, huge giveaways. I mean, like I'm not going to give away a cricket machine or anything like that. They'll be, they'll be decent, though. Like stencils and... Maybe a set of watercolors. Um, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what you guys want. Maybe some Tim Holtz stuff. Maybe his new, his new chapters are coming out. Maybe something like that. Let's do some cuts here. And I think I'm going to have to nick them again too here like this and I don't know if you guys are going to see me do that let's move that because I can hardly see it myself I want that bobby pin to fit I want the bobby pins to fit and they are about they're about a sixteenth of an inch wide a little bit over a sixteenth of an inch so they're going to have to fit in these little slots like so and I could have to cut more and it doesn't matter because I'll be filling it with glue yeah, it, it, a V shape isn't going to work it's going to have to be a square rectangular shape the little V I'm going to have to cut a, it might work better with my knife than the scissors. This cardboard is not easy to cut. All right. So it's going to go in, in there like that. And it's going to stand like that. <laughs> and, and then these. Yeah, I think it's even going to have to be a little deeper. Let's cut these. Let's see. I want this is going to be the bottom. And this will be, well, I could put that on the, because you can still kind of see. I guess I'll make the text the bottom. Just ignore me. I'm still figuring things out. So it's going to come in like, like that. And the gals are telling me to do opposite ends when I do it. So I'll do this one and glue it and do the other leg over here. Let's cut that one now. Let's cut this one. This really isn't too opposite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Then we'll glue these down. See, the little V shape is going to have to be more of a square, more of a rectangular shape for the for this bobby pin to fit in there. So it's going to fit like this. And I'm just going to glue it on. So let me turn the heat gun on. Hi, secret squirrel, Ami. <laughs> Hello, Ami. Ami, I, w I didn't use that journal for the JB5 because I didn't want to mess it up. <laughs> so I may never, I may never work in that journal just because I don't want to mess it up. I might, but I didn't want to do JB5 in it. Let me turn on the heat gun here. And let it get hot. When, and while that's heating up, I'll explain to you about this. When I was still hanging out with Gina and Cindy Utter and Vicki Brown, Vicki Brown got me started on making paper beads. Now, I'm not an expert on making paper beads. Nope, I'm not. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> what is this? Uh, but I did paint some wax paper. It's, it's sealed shut for some reason. I'm going to cut it. I got more of these. But I did make these paper beads here. And they're made out of wax paper. And I was thinking these would be fun to make a mini one. A mini Sancho's doll. They're about the same height. They're about an inch, maybe an inch and a fourth high. And I may only need, I may only need six. Eight of them might, might be a little. But that's going to be tiny, tiny, tiny. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And the other thing I was thinking would be fun to use for legs for the cage would be these pins. I had bought more of these pins for Penelope. She says, "Yeah, you buy me new pins and then you and then you use them. <laughs> you take them away from me before I even get them. I'm only going to use eight of them. But see, these would make cute for a uh, for a mini. Uh, you would have to here again do. You'd have to make sure that these pointy points aren't sticking out." But those would make cute little legs. So I'm going to play around with that stuff. I don't know why that's in there. Let's throw it out. So I don't know if I'll get to this or not. Then one more thing that I thought would be fun. And I don't know if I what I did with it. Um, I have some metal ones. These aren't metal. These are plastic ones. Paper clip cages and I would probably only need five of these to make the cage if I could find five red ones and these would be a lot easier I think than the pins you know to put them around a, a circle a couple of circles and you could glue these flat so you see I Rosemary has me started here <laughs> whoops let's keep that out Rosemary, it's all Rosemary Morse's fault. Hi, Elaine. Welcome, welcome. All right, I think this might be hot enough to, let's see. I guess I want to do two of these on this side. And I, I don't have them exactly opposite here. Why not? I think it's supposed to be this one. Because of the way I cut it, I think. <laughs> Legs might be a little wobbly. All right. So I want this, which will eventually have this on top. And I, But I'm going to glue these legs on first. And I think my heat gun is 
heating up here. I don't know. So I guess I want to glue this on first. And I want the little bent part to be out. So I'm going to put this in here like this. And we're going to we're going to glue it down. I think uh put some glue in there first if I can. And I'm not the I'm not the neatest gluer cuz I'm still learning. But we'll just put it in like that and maybe push it down. Ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie. Somebody somebody should tell me that glue is hot. And I learned from Beth Schuler when I was doing this the other day that the little hairs on these will go away if you use your heat gun. Because I, I get little hairs on it. So let's just put that like that. And then opposite, we're going to put this one. And I want the little, the little shoe part out, facing out. So we're going to put the other one over here. Yes. Oh, and it in... Yeah, you do have to angle it. I forgot. You got to angle it. Okay. Something like something like that. Now I'm going to let that I'm gonna let that rest a little. Well, maybe we're going to do these. Right in there. Maybe. Put that one in there. We'll try it. That notch might be a little big, but I think I can fill it with glue. Put this one in here. Like that. And... Uh-oh, I need something to hold it. I need something. What's going to hold it? I guess I'll hold it. <laughs> it's about the height of one of my... Uh, there. About the height of this. There. Okay, that works. Let's fill it with a little more. glue here. I might have to put a little fringe around the bottom. We'll see what happens here. And let's do this one. I think it has to come up just a little. And I'll learn, I'll learn as I go here. I'm not saying these are perfect dolls. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. <laughs> it's just a little sting. All right. So you get the first two done, I guess. I should have guess I could have, should have cut, cut notches in all of them. But you get those first ones done and the, I guess I shouldn't cut all my notches first. Let's go cut notches. I'm going to unplug this so the glue doesn't seep out while I'm cutting all the notches. Yeah. So welcome everybody who's come in. I'm playing with Sancho's dolls. And for the legs of this one, I'm using bobby pins. And I'm going to paint the girl, but I think I'm going to use curly doll hair. I've got some curly brown doll hair. And we're going to put little fake bobby pins in her hair. <laughs> Maybe a, a headband. Um, 1950s style headband, maybe. Or we could do a ponytail would be fun, too. A ponytail would probably be easier to do than bobby pins. 
I like the idea of a ponytail. I can do a ponytail pretty easy. Let's do a ponytail on her. 1950s style because we're using bobby pins for the legs. And ignore how ignore how sloppy this is up here because I can always cover that. And my cutting isn't that great either, but <laughs> here I'm apologizing for her already. And I need to get in there. I have to cut these slits a little deeper because these bobby pins are about... These bobby pins are about a sixteenth of an inch, which is fairly wide. They aren't just little slits. If you ask me, this is the hardest part of it, is, is gluing the legs on. The rest of it is all fun. A bobby, a uh, uh, ponytail, and uh, a uh, scarf. You know, a, a necktie scarf. Maybe a poodle. A poodle skirt would be fun. I got some little poodle material, but uh, I don't know if I can put a skirt on this. I could glue little poodle. Pieces. All right, wait. I've got to do these. This one's cut. It's just not nicked out yet. So, th because the reason I'm making it 1950 style is because I'm making the legs out of bobby pins. Oh, um, beaded necklace. A beaded necklace would be fun. Or a beaded, uh, I don't know if I'll put hands on her. But, you know how they used to wear those, those pop beads? <laughs> I probably have, have something I can make beads out of. That one's glued in. And I might have to cut this one a little bit wider here. All right, now we need to cut the base. And these don't have to be cut as wide. And Rosemary just glued hers flat across. But since mine are, I want my little legs facing out, I'm gonna push them in, so I have to put, put a little slot. Well, I guess I could. Yeah, I think I prefer the slot, though. Yeah. Just ignore me while I'm thinking. <laughs> There's one, two, and another one over here. And I'm just cutting little D's in here. And as soon as I get the other, this is already pretty strong. These are on here pretty good. And I need to cut these. And I'm not worrying about perfection because this is just for me for fun. Bobby socks and poodle dogs. I could take a poker chip and paint a little record. 45, 75 RPM record out of a poker chip and rest it in there somehow. All right. 
already. So now we're going to do this one. We want the legs facing out. Let me plug my heat gun back in. Yeah. I don't like to leave it plugged in while I'm doing something else. I would rather wait for it to heat up. So the little leg here, the little shoe, I'm going to have pointing out. And I might have to fit this in here a little better. So it'll go in, in here. Yeah, it's not cleaned out. Come on. Yeah. In. In. Come on. Pretty wide. That bobby pin's a lot wider than it looks. It's not going in far enough for me. And in like that. Yeah. I'll glue it down there first. And it goes in and then in up here like that. Oh, and pink lipstick. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a little tube of pink lipstick, maybe out of a Crayola. Maybe out of a Crayola, a little pink tube of lipstick. Is that going to rest? Okay, let's do this one. It uh, seems a little lopsided to me. There, that's better. It's a little, little lopsided over here. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Hi, Art Out with your heart out. Hi, Suze. Hi, Janet. And there's Rosemary. Rosemary, it's all your fault. My, my Santos doll, she's still in progress. This is my one that, this is my Penelope one. The one I'm working on now, I'm, I'm making with bobby pin legs. And she's going to be a 1950s doll. Uh, with a purple sweater and pink lipstick and a ponytail. And <laughs> I could try to even put bobby socks, paint these little legs, paint the little bobby socks on here. Wouldn't that be fun? Put little bobby socks on there. <laughs> Rosemary, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. I'm having so much fun doing these. Um, they're a little lopsided. They're a little, uh, they're not perfect. <laughs> Let's put it that way. They're not perfect, but I think after I get this one glued on, it'll shape up a little. So let's do that. Is it? Yeah. Let's. Yeah. I was going to put uh, um, bobby pins in her hair, but I think that might be a little hard to get the bobby pin 
done. So I think I'm going to go with a ponytail. I think I'm going to go with a ponytail instead. Whoops, that isn't glued in, Mary. Don't press on it too hard. Let's put glue up here. And then I can kind of shape it in. I think. Okay, let's see. I, it's leaning. I don't... Ouch. Owie, owie, owie. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it to lean so much. Come this way. Come this way. Owie. 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 <laughs> That's worse than a candle fire. Aw. I pulled it out. That was hot. Oh, I got hot glue all over this one. Let's get a clean bobby pin. <laughs> Owie. I'm going to get a sip of tea here. I need a break. I'll put my Play-Doh up. Let me have a sip of tea. I'll put my paint away. Sometimes I get too much clutter on my desk and it bothers me. Uh, I need a place to put this paint. It bothers me even though it's up here. Yeah, I think it's going to rest fine. It, it looks a little lopsided, but once I get that other leg on, let's get another bobby pin out. The best place I've found to get bobby pins are at Walmart. These are just a little bit stronger than the ones you get at Dollar General. You can get these longer ones at Dollar General, but the wire is thinner. Yeah. The wire's thinner, and they kind of, they'll, they'll bend uh, where you don't want them to. Let's see if I can get this glue out of there. Yeah. I've got glue in there now that I don't want in there. Rosemary, I'm having so much fun making these. I haven't made the one you sent yet. <laughs> and I wanted to work on the little sewing book. I'm working on yet on the sewing book. Um, I want to take some of that fabric that Karen, uh, Karen, Kathy Berg sent me. Beautiful little fabrics and put in there. Okay, let's try this again. I think it'll fit. Let's try it again. Yep, I'm thinking Bobby socks on her. Bobby socks with high heels. <laughs> Oh, I didn't cut that other one out. Hold it. This has to be cleaned out. Bobby socks with high heels? <laughs> She's a rebel. She's a rebel. Once I get it stabilized... Uh, put glue down here now. There. There we go. Yay. Now let's, I think this has to come down a little more. There. Yay. Yeah. And see, then this one will go. I might need another one this size. Or I could put, before I put this on, maybe put some lace. Or um, what I have here, let me get it out. Oh, it's over here. I did some digging this afternoon. I have 
I have some of this blue trim. And I could put that around there before I put the before I put the center one on. I think I'll try. Let's see if this comes off in a strip. It says dual border stickers. I might have to clip it to make it go in a circle. You know, like you do darts, only you clip them. And Becky taught me that. Did I say hello to you, Suze? Welcome, everybody. Rosemary, you just inspire me so much. I so enjoy. I so enjoy what you do. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's do... It has tape on the bottom of it, but I'm going to put a dab of glue right here to get it started, maybe. Right there. And I might have to manipulate this as I go. We're going to put it here. Oh, yeah. And it's sticky. But I think I'm going to have to clip it to make it go circle. Circular, clip it there, and put a little dart. And I don't know if hot glue is really the thing to use. Let's see. Let's just do this. Yeah, I like that. here let's see if I can't make this go in sort of a circle it doesn't matter if it's not it looks more like a square than a circle but I think once I get it on there this will cover up the yeah but it's, <laughs> it's kind of hard to work with let's see I do think I'll put another dab of glue on here Oh, I have to put the other ones on. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take this off. Uh-oh, will this come off? I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let me let me take this all off again. See, I think about what I want to do, and then I start doing it. Let's see, I can leave that there. I have to put my other legs on before I can do this. <laughs> all right. Let's put the other legs on. Because, see, I, they have to fit in here. Like this. Yeah. I don't know if I can get that off. Yeah. Sorry. I got ahead of myself. That's what happens when you get bright ideas. This one goes in here. Like that. And kind of down. Yeah. It's going to have to come way down because I want it to meet. I want it to meet the floor. She might be kicking up her heels a little here on some of these feet. That goes in here and in there. And bring it out. There. It just barely meets the floor here. I'll put some more glue on that. Yeah, I might have to put maybe instead of bobby socks, maybe ankle bra ankle uh, bracelets. Is that what they're called? And I took one of my little candle jars that I had a little wax in the bottom of it yet. And I put my glue sticks in it. I have to clean it out, but I need a new glue stick here. Well, not quite yet. All right, let's keep going. 
let's do let's do this one I think it looks a little messy but when I get the I think when I get the trim on it'll cover up most of the mess it might have to be cleaned out just a little so I can get that those bobby pins are whiter than you than you realize here and down in here and you know what I would love and I'm not sure what to use but I would love to make a mini one I mean a little one that could be used as a journal charm now the paper clip ones are smaller but they they aren't mini. I mean a mini one. I guess you might be able to use some sort of a of a beading wire or something. Let me have another sip of tea. You guys are just seeing top down. Here's what it looks like on the side here. Mm. Let me get the other two legs in. Three legs. I have to put this one in. No, that one's in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two legs. Ouch. Let's do this one. That hot glue can be hot. But I, it, I do find that it sticks pretty good. One more. This, yeah, I guess it's deep enough. Now I want to make a bead, a beaded uh, necklace, you know, a big long, maybe like a two-string pearl necklace, the pop beads, and a bracelet to match. <laughs> and pink lipstick out of a tip of a Crayola. All right. I think that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to put the trim around here again. We'll start out with this where I pulled it off. And this will cover up a lot of the mess, hopefully. And I might put it on in little segments like this, rather than trying to put it all on at once. That will cover up a lot of the mess. Let's cut three more off of this. And then this, this will go on top of that. Oh, I'm going to love it. Now, let's see if I can't push this out a little. Make it a little more circular. Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's cut three more. One, two, three. Uh. Come out to the edge just a little. Rosemary, this was such a great idea. I am so enjoying this. 
Sancho dolls. Oh, I'm going to have to put that other glue stick in it. Hold it, I'm getting the glue stick started here. Merci, 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 Mary. Owie, owie, owie. <laughs> owie, owie. Boy, that did burn. Owie. Let's get my... Let's get my palette knife out. <laughs> Do this with my palette knife. Yeah, that may not work either. I need it to come over a little. Boy, that burned. It's stuck onto my finger. Mmm. Kiss it. Mmm. That burnt. You guys know how that feels? I don't work a lot with hot glue, and you can tell. I need this to kind of fill in a little more, but I think it's down. Mmm. It's onto my finger there. Owie. I glued it my finger. I'm going to have cut to cut that off. It's bothering me. Hold it. Let me do a little surgery here. It's just a little piece of glue. Right there. There. That's better. When I pulled on it, it, it pulled and hurt. All right. Sorry. Sorry to... <laughs> Sorry to set myself on fire. Maybe I'll let this rest a little before I attempt to put it on. Uh, no. I'll put it on with my palette knife once I get it there. Shape it with my palette knife. That's smarter, Mary. Much smarter. Bring it over here a little, please. Come over just a little. See, I want to touch it with my finger. Yeah. Where's a pin? One more. I have to say, that was the hardest part of the whole thing. <laughs> ah, one more. Let me just take one. And I got it way over here across the desk. And I want a round, a nice round one. I'm cutting a nice round one. This one kind of is bent over. OK. 
come on. There. Okay. get smart about this. The last one I got smart on. All right. So there's that. Ow. Mm, that burned. So now what I want to do, now what I want to do is glue this on top of this. Maybe I'll shape it a little bit more. Maybe I'll shape this out a little bit more if I can. A lopsided circle there. Now put that right there on top. And then I'll draw my little 1950s lady and paint her. And what I did with the with this one to make it stand up, I took a piece of cardboard, a rectangular piece of cardboard. Say this is the my cardboard right here. And I cut a slit in there. And I found out that it's easier to cut an open slit here. Leave this open. And then I take the, say this is my doll right here. Then I fit my doll in it, holds it up like that. And then I glue this part down. So that's why we're going to approach this. I'm going to hot glue this on here. Um, like that. And some of the bling will show and some won't. We'll see. Because I it, I did the best I could here. Ow. My finger still burns. <laughs> I'll take this and put up here out of my way. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to take this hot glue and we're going to, we're just going to fill this in here. And maybe around the rim here. Get it all. Maybe another glue stick. All filled in. Yeah. Now that's a puddle of hot glue, so I got to be careful. I'm just going to drop this right on top and smish her down. Just like that. Aww. I think I'll paint the... I think I'll paint the shoes blue to match the... I have some... Let's play with it. I was cleaning out some of my stuff today. And, gosh, I, I must have brought this... I have some of that PEBO paint. And I think I brought it back with me from Wisconsin. And I'm going to see if I got some blue. Hmm. Hmm. What did I do with it? It's right here. I'm still, I'm still kissing my owie. <laughs> All right. I think if I wouldn't have pulled on it, it'd be better. See, I've got some blue like that. And... I've got some dark blue, I think. I don't think that'll show up as much. I've got some green. But I don't know. This may... I don't know what shape these paints are in because I've had them for a couple years. So we'll find out. We will find out. These P.E. B. 
B.O. Pinks. Let me get the box out. Let's see what this says. P.E.B.O. Pink. Um, discovery set. Solvent based effect colors, which can be blended together. Opaque textured and pearl finish. Easy application or thick layers. Immaculate effect, immediate effect can be used on all surfaces, used with freshly painted, some kind of, I can't read that, something colors and effects can be mixed well before use. Uh, I want to see what kind of cleanup are they. You guys know what kind of cleanup? It doesn't say what kind of cleanup on here. Light fastness. Do, 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 do. See, I'm going after this color right here, I think. I think that's this color. But I don't see what it says about clean. Can I clean them with water? Mixed media applications. Becky said, just now found a folder from a Creative Memories party she attended. Whoops. Well, we'll try them with water and a craft brush, and if, it, if my brush doesn't clean up, I guess I can try to clean it with... Not Daddy Vans, but the other one, Pop-Up from Murphy's. Okay, now let's see what I have. Let me get a little brush. A oh, little brush. I'm looking. I took my little brushes and put them all in another little... You know what I... Deborah Brown would love me. Deborah Brown would love me because I'm using her... Well, I dropped a little brush. But I'm using her... get this out I'm using her cup see Deborah Brown Deborah Brown gifted me this cup with my logo on it can you guys see it move over move over <laughs> and I put my little brushes in here I put my little brushes in here so I just want maybe this one looks like a craft brush I don't want to use a good brush but I put it over on my other desk I think I'll unplug that glue gun now. Hold it. Let me unplug the glue gun. Let me unplug it. Let it cool up a little. All right. Let's see what I have. I think you have to stir these. Maybe I'll stir it with a bobby pin. And I have to open it. Oh, my pliers. These are old. I don't know what shape they're in. I don't even know if I can get it open. Yeah, it opened. It says stir well. Looks pretty dark. Let me let me bend my bobby pin. I'll use it as a stir stick. This is a, I don't think it's going to show up too good on here. Do I have, I think you can mix this stuff. Let me see if I have a, a light color that I can mix with this. I, I don't use these as a general rule. This is the color I have here. I've got a gold. I could put gold. I've got a lighter green, which might work better. I don't see a white. I see a silver. Silver and gold and kind of a light gold. And yellow. I don't see a white. No white. Let's 
So I think that lighter green might show up better. Let's see what I have here. I think the dark blue won't work at all. Let's shake it a little. Yeah, it's got a little... I'm not seeing it come off on there. I'm not seeing it on there. I think white paint would be better. Well, I see it a little. It's not bright. Maybe I could just dip it in like this. <laughs> Uh, I'm not happy with these. They look better on it. It's the black. Maybe I have to do a white base first. Let's try. Let's try. A, I'm going to try another bobby pin. Let's put a white base on it first. Maybe it'll show up better. Mary has to experiment with this stuff before. This is how I learn. And I don't have white. So I'm just going to use white paint. I don't have a white in this paint. I'll just use a white, a white paint, a white craft paint. Let's put it here. I don't know. I don't know about this brush. What? I'll put a little dab of white paint on my wax paper base here. And we're just going to experiment with a, a, pin, a bobby pin here. I want, I want to paint the shoes. <laughs> and I don't care if they're stuck together. They, they don't, this bobby pin does not need to open up. All right, I might do it a little bit better on the other one, so I'm just slopping it on here. Now, let me get my heat gun. I've got gunk in my white paint. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now I've got to wash that out. Oh, one-handed job here. i got gunk in this. Get out of here. Let's try the, let's go back and try that blue again. Ew, it's gooey. Well, my paint isn't dry yet. But I think that's where I need to go in order for it to show up, is paint the legs white first. This isn't dry. But I'm just going to put this I want shoes, blue shoes. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna wash this out. What I'm gonna do is paint all these little legs white and let them dry. And then I'm gonna come back in and paint them blue. I can't hold it, hold my hand still. Hold your hand still, Mary. Yeah, my paint's not dry. All right. And I, I'm going to have to let it dry in order for it to do what I want it to do. Let's go ahead and put this lid back on. 
so I don't spill it. And we'll go while this while my legs are drying, my little shoes are drying, I'll go ahead and draw the little girl and paint her. This is good for me to learn how to use this stuff. This is the darker blue. All right. Let me just get this wiped up before I put my hands in it. Get this stuff cleaned off of my desk. All those little nicks that I put in that cardboard. Come on, come on, come on. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to put my heat gun. I'm really done with this, my blue gun. Let's just get it out of the way. Put it over here, out of my way. I don't need it for a while. Deb says, well, whatever's happening, it looks interesting. I'm making another little, uh, I'm making another little Santos doll, Deb. And I'm making the legs out of bobby pins. And I'm going to paint these little shoes. You see my bobby pin. Let me get another one out. I bent that one. My bobby pin angles at the edge here. You see the angle? Well, that's the shoe. That's the shoe. And I want them to be blue to match the blue bling around here. And so, but in order for me to put that blue paint on here and get it to show up, I'm going to have to paint it white first and let it dry because that blue on here just, you can't even see it. So I'm going to paint all the little shoes white first and then I'm going to let them dry and while they're drying I'm going to make the little the little doll part and uh the little doll is going to be a 1950s doll I'll hold my piece still here I got all these hairs in here it's going to be a 1950s doll. It's going to have a ponytail and pink lipstick and pop beads. And what else did they have in that little necktie? And Bobby socks on high heels. I should use a heat gun and get this, all these little hairs, blue hairs. But I'm having to paint these white first in order for my my shoes to show up with the color. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have white bobby socks on high heels. And most of that, when I get something like that, I'm not going to worry about it because it's going to be on the bottom anyway. I might put a Made by Mary label on the bottom. I just want, I just want to paint the legs here. But I'm going to have to let these dry it takes a little bit more time to dry on a piece of metal than on paper, I think. And I'm not trying to be super neat because I know this is the bottom. I guess that's no excuse to be sloppy, but there you go. And the only reason I'm painting them white is because my blue doesn't show up on those darker bobby pins. But I think they'll show up on the, the white base. 
I'm going to paint that glue blob there. All right. They're just going to let that dry. And I'm going to draw my little gal. Let me get that towel out again. I put my paint so I don't put my hand in it. And I'm going to put her up here and dry. Let her dry. And my scissors, I glued my scissors on with the and the little scissor sheath here. Now I think I'm going to take let's take this off if I can. Let's see if I can get it off. Yeah. See this comes off pretty easy. And they stick into each other here. I'm going to make some little, I'm going to put these on with glossy accent. I'm going to make some little pin heads here with the little trim. I'm going to put a different trim on here. Yeah. Penelope says, what would you do without me? What would you do without me? This is where I really needed tweezers. Come on. Maybe I'll put some out and see if I can't dab it on. Yeah, I've got a little hair in it. <laughs> this is where I need a, one of those little tweezers because my big old hands, my big old hands. But at least the glue is not hot. And it always wants to go down head first. It doesn't want to go down flat base first. Come on. There. Now that glue strings all over my hands. got blue strings on my hand. Now let's put, let's get some more of these. I'm going to take all of these off of the rim. And we are going to put them on her. Put one here and here. Come on, be good. See, it wants to stick to me. It wants to stick to me and it doesn't want to go down there. There. Yeah. Aw. Now let's put one more over here. Maybe. I don't want to put too many on. Five's a good number. I think. Get in there. Right there. Right there. Aw. Can you see her? Am I holding her up close enough? Look. There. Now, let's see. Maybe I'm hoping it's dry enough that I can turn it over. Now, this is going to be mostly... This is going to be mostly covered with that eyelash yarn, but I'm going to put a couple of these on here just in any way. Just any way. Come on, get on there. 
I'm going to pull them all off of here. I don't like them on here. Let's put one in there. I need the little tweezers. I know I do. <laughs> Come on. Be good. There. Let's put one up on our hat. One more. Okay, I like that. Now let's get these, let's get these off of here, if I can. Where's my palette knife? I don't know if I'm going to get them all off. It got hot glue on it. I'm going to have to melt that off, I guess. Oh, it's coming off. I'll put my pen back in here. Well, yeah. I'll put the cap on there. Yeah, I want to get, I want to get these off. Shouldn't have put them on so good. Yeah, that one's being stubborn. You're going to come off. I'm not letting you be on there. Put that on with that hot glue and it's on there. Sticking to my finger. I guess I could try to melt the glue. With a heat gun. Let's see if that worked. Oh, yeah. Oh, sometimes I get it. Sometimes I figure it out. Now I gotta get it off of the palette knife. I can get these off. Uh, stick to my fingers. Two more. I'm lagging in my own chat here. I am lagging. I can't. I'm way behind myself. <laughs> I can watch what I did three minutes ago. There. All right. Those are off. Now, let's get back to these. I think I'm going to put these on. Will that be too much? I don't know. We'll see. And I'm just going to tape them on first. 
And then I think I'll come in and pack them on with glossy accent. I want to see how they look. And she's really dressed to the nines here. Yeah, I got the chain falling in there. Get out of there. Yeah, a ribbon falling on that tape. Get off of there. Well, I think I'm going to leave it like that. It's kind of big and clunky, but I have some smaller. I don't know if I like that or not. I have to decide. Do I want to leave it on there? I think it's too clunky. I'm going to take it off. <laughs> I think it's too big. Let's see what I can find. Well, this one gave me trouble. It won't get out of that. It wants to wrap itself around this. This is just dollar store trim, so I don't care if it gets messed up too much. I do like it, though. It is pretty. I have... Wait a minute. Wait. I have this. This might be prettier. How much do I need? Probably about to there. Let's cut it off. And I was just going to use one strand of it. Mary's not done playing with her dolls. This one is, this one's doing okay. She's got white shoes. They're going to be blue. Okay. We're just going to cut one of these. And I'm going to glue it starting in the back, I think. Yeah. And I'm not going to use hot glue. I'm going to use the glossy accent. Hot glue burnt my finger. I'm just kind of tacking it on with the glossy accent. I'm not gluing the whole piece down. She says, I like this better, Mary. I do too. I think it's prettier. Not so big and clunky. Yeah, but the other piece came off. I'm, I'm too impatient with this stuff. I should wait for it to dry. Now I'll come back in a little bit after that's all dry and clip that extra off. We're going to set it up there and let it dry. And I think this is dry enough now to paint my shoes. What did I do with the pen? Pen's here someplace. I don't see it. 
cap is here someplace. I don't see it either. There's the cap. Pen might be underneath of the doll. Okay. So I'm going to go back to, I think I'm going to go back to this blue color. And we're going to paint the shoes blue. Not my brush. Put my scissors away. Why do I need? I don't know. Mary's complaining about herself. All right. Put my palette knife away. My glue stick over here. This is taking longer than I thought, but I'm having fun. Mina says, gold looks much prettier on Penelope. <laughs> it does, doesn't it, Mina? Yeah, see, this blue is going to show up a lot better on the, on the once I painted it white. She's going to have blue shoes. Blue, he blue heels. Blue shoes. Here. Oops. That's not all dry in there. I guess I need to let it... I need to let it dry some more. I'm going to let it dry just a little bit more and we're going to draw the doll. Let's draw the doll. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to let that dry just a bit more. I want the lace. The lace is underneath of my teacup here. <laughs> Let's draw the doll. I might have to zoom out just a teeny bit. Well, I don't know if I can keep it in frame. I got all these little pieces here. Okay. And I'm going to kind of sketch her out on a piece of this hard board here. Let's, let's fold my wax paper in half. So I don't put my car cardboard in glue. Now, let's do her over here in this corner. Now, she's going to have to be... Let's see, what did I do with that circle? Well, the circle itself is about this big. The base. The base is about this big, because I used a Play-Doh container to make it. So the doll itself, I don't want to be, see, she's pretty small. So, oh, and there's my, there's my pen. Let's put it in here. I didn't, I thought it was probably underneath of the doll. Okay. So we want her to have a ponytail. Let's draw her head. And she's going to have to have a, let's see, we don't have to make her a pin cushion. We can make her, we can make her more, let's see, what kind of an outfit, what kind of a sweater, uh, 1950s, we could put a jumper on her, I guess, put a jumper, what did they wear, uh, I'm thinking of a big fat collar, but that looks too much like lace. Let's put her head in here. Yeah, let's see. Now all of this, I'm just kind of sketching her in. I'll be painting all this out. I'll be painting it out so all the marks don't matter. Uh, poodle skirt and puffy blouse. Well, the skirt will be the, K, uh, the bobby pins. So, a puffy blouse. Um, what did the shoulders look like? I'm more concerned about the shoulders and the neckline. What kind of a neckline? Right now, I'm going. I'll be. I can paint this all out. A puffy blouse. Uh, 
Well, let's see. And let's see if I have a ponytail, it will show more in the back than in the front. But the ponytail could come something like that. And uh, bangs. Should we give her bangs? And a ponytail probably didn't have much of a. She had. She'll probably have a headband. A, a headband. I don't know. I'm still kind of concerned. They wore sweaters back then. Yeah, they wore sweaters with those big co uh, road collars. Road collars, like, I'm getting it all messed up. Like that. You know, um, like this. Uh, let's see if I can get my white paint out and paint that out a little. Where do I want to put this? Put it up in here. So the, the collar, the sweater had a big rolled collar like that. And then the shoulder like this, maybe. Something like that. And I'll have to give her more of a neckline in there. Now, let's paint her head out here, too. And I'll come back in and... I'll come back in and... Paint. The, I'm just kind of sketching her out with my paintbrush now. Uh, maybe not so fat. But then she'll have a ponytail like this, like that. <laughs> that um, I could put the ponytail as part of the cardboard, or I could attach a ponytail to it, which I might do, and make the ponytail maybe come back and fall into the back. But for right now, I can always cut this off. For right now, I'm going to leave it like that. Mary, they wore blouses back then. I looked it up. No, Well, they also wore those big sweaters back then, too. With the rolled collars. That's what I'm going to go for. Um, that much of a rolled collar. But this is just whiting it out. I'll put it like that. Let me go look. Let me go look on. Let me. Let me. Uh, uh oh, I don't want to put anybody in timeout. Let me go um, Google. Maybe I can find something here. Um, 1950 fashion. 1950s fashion. Oh, well, now that's dress. Those are dresses. Let's look at some images. We don't want the... Oh, here. Now, see? There's a poodle skirt here. Let's go to the Fab 50s. It's black. It's going there. I don't know if I can show this online. This is basically, I'm going to show it fast. It's basically a black blouse with a pink poodle skirt. Um, let's see, but I'm thinking, let's see what I can find with the sweaters. I don't see any of the road sweaters, but I thought they wore those sweaters with the... Well, I might change my mind here. We might paint this out. They have all sorts of fashion here. Do, 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 do. See, uh, here's one with a bow tie. Let's draw it out here. She's got a collar, and then she's got a necktie. She's 
she's got a collar here her collar comes this way and she has one of those neckties coming there like this is part of the necktie uh, maybe it comes more like that let me paint that out again I have to figure this out I think I might go for the blouse with it and then it's got a button down the front let me my paint's still wet all right um let me set this down now it's gonna slide off let me let me paint this out and redo this this is just figuring it out Let's let's uh let's get a contrasting color. Let's get a blue. <sighs> She's got much too thick in here. That, that's an awfully big neck, but I'll I'll paint it out. I just want to get a contrast here. Now, let me dry that, and then I'll come back in and paint. I want to put the neck tie on it. Ah. She will. She will be fine in the end. I'm just figuring her out here. Put her head here, her neck in here, up in here. I don't have that paint all dry yet. Her face is too fat. Let me look at her again here. Oops. Now here on this one that I'm looking at, her hair is short. Uh, I don't see anybody with a ponytail here. I might, I might get rid of the ponytail. I don't see any ponytails. They must have wore those in high school. None of these figures have ponytails. Not one of them when I'm looking at 1950s fashion. Why am I thinking ponytail? Because of the school kids. All right. Well, let's see if there's anything on Unsplash. That I can show and feel comfortable. Hold it. I'm looking. Hold on. Un S P L A S H. And let's see if I can find something that says 1950s fashion. One nine five zero fashion. F A S H I O N. Women's. 1950s fashions women's here we go whoops i thought it was an on an, an, an splash ah. unsplash come on unsplash okay search where's the search search for I think this is Unsplash here. Come on. Come on. One, nine, five, oh. 
1950. Why do I keep hitting the zero? <laughs> Be patient with me. 950. Fashion. Women. Go. Let's see if I find anything. Well, we saw some, we get some clothing. Library of Congress, get it Japanese. Find that this is all unsplash. And I'm not seeing I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing anything on on Unsplash. Nineteen fifties women. Here we go. No. Well, that's certainly not 1950. That doesn't, that's the Library of Congress. I'm not seeing anything here. That's not 1950. Nah. I'm not seeing anything that appeals to me here. It's looking at more of women than 1950s. I'm not finding anything. I'm not comfortable showing it what I'm seeing on Google on my video. There's her swimsuits. I don't see any po ponytails. Why don't I see any ponytails? I'm going back to chat here. Hold on. I'm not happy with that. Let me go back to my chat and see what you guys are saying to me. Ah... Uh... Try this again. I'm going to get rid of... Hi, Holly. Hi, Carla. My mom was in high school in the 40s, and she had her initial on her blouse and a poodle skirt with a parrot. Well, I can't do the skirt because the skirt is going to be the cage. Uh, Mary, mom graduated in 1955. They used curlers, had curly hair, cashmere sweater with a mink collar. <laughs> Cashmere sweater with a mink collar. Was a sweater just like a round neck? Well, I let my paint dry while I was doing all of that. Was the sweater just a round neck then? Let's give her more of a slender face. Not too slender, but I'm going to get rid of the ponytail because I didn't see any ponytails in that. So no ponytail. And we'll give her a little bit bigger head then. Just ignore all this. It'll turn out, it'll turn out in the end. I'm just painting out all my marks. She needs a little bit bigger head now that I... I'll come back in with white again. I'm just putting in a blue background. All right. A cashmere sweater with a, just a round neck and then it had a, a mink, a brown mink or a black mink. Or... Mom said no ponytails in the 50s? Where did I get the ponytails? When did they wear ponytails? They wore ponytails sometime. Well, I didn't see any ponytails on those ladies. I got rid of it. I don't know why I was thinking pony. Maybe it's more of a children's fashion than a young girl. All right. Let's. I got rid of the ponytail. <laughs> Let's. Let's paint her head out a little bigger. A cashmere sweater with a mink collar. 
so if she had a mink collar, she probably had a rounded sweat a, a rounded neck collar on the sweater. So let's do that. It doesn't have to be perfect, does it? <laughs> let's give her a some shoulders here like this. And she has pink lipstick. Uh, I'm still not happy with the shape of her face because if she has short hair and bangs. All right. I don't know about painting her out here. I'm going to cut her out so that blue won't even show. I just painted it out so I could get the a mink collar. So was a cashmere sweater kind of a blue color or a white color? Uh, I suppose I should make it blue if my if I got blue trim on here. I should probably go for that blue, about the blue with it that I have in the background. Just ignore me. I'm I'm playing here now. I'm going to paint this out and leave that blue line there. And then I'm going to come in with, I should just paint, I should just do another circle. <laughs> We're doing a white out here. I know they weren't very, they weren't very, uh, the ladies back then were conscious of their weight. All right, let's give her a blue sweater because I want it to match the blue on this cage. So we're going to go in with a blue sweater and a mink collar. <laughs> All right, we're going to, let's paint the base here first. Let's give it a round collar like that and come down like this maybe. Oh, now we're getting her. Now we're getting her like that. Now she looks 1950s to me. Come down like this. And we'll give her white pearl buttons, maybe. We'll, we'll put a collar on her. Wait. Wait. I don't want her too fat. She's got to have a body. This is just the base. Now, a mink collar. What color was the mink? Mom lived in Michigan and it was cold. They tied little scarves around their ponytails. Mary, play away. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a 1950. I do like the idea of a scarf. Uh, let's try this again. I like the idea of a neck scarf. Would they wear a neck scarf with a mink collar? <laughs> I guess I could put it in there. It wouldn't hurt. This is, she could be a rebel. I like the blue. Did I get out of frame? You can't see her head very well. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can draw over that now or not. Uh, something like that. Only, now don't worry, I'll paint it out again, but I'm trying to get a sense of where. And maybe the necktie coming over this way and out like this and down like that. And let's just put a collar in here like this. And maybe coming just a little bit there. 
and coming down this way and down this way. And then let's give her some, well, that collar needs to be a little more centered. And let's give her some buttons here. Now, the hair, the hair, shall we give her a headband? She, she's got an awful angular face. Let's make her face a little more round. And let me go look at some of those 1950s. I think I'm getting her. She doesn't have to be perfect. Let me see what, let me look at some of those Google pictures again. Let's see if I can go into the 50s here. Hold on. Uh, history. I got filters. I don't want filters. I want... 53. History. Where's my history? Close all tabs. <laughs> 1950s. 1950. Ladies hair. H A I R. Go. I don't know if I can show it on here. Oh, they got, she's got big earrings. Let's look at the images. I'm not sure I can show the Google when I do this on my video. Oh, she's got curly. They got curly hair. Oh, and they got those bangs like my sister used to wear those curls, you know, like this and like, like that on the forehead. Oh, there's Annette. She's got, she's got the flip, the flip hair like this. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Now there's sort of a ponytail on this lady, but I don't see very many ponytails. Oh, well, there's a ponytail on this lady. That's what I was thinking. I can't, I, I don't feel comfortable showing what I'm seeing on Google. Um, but what, I'm going to go back to chat again here. This is hard. This is hard. What I'm seeing, now I know my sister used to wear her hair. She used to have a curl on this side and a curl on this side. And she'd comb her hair back from the forehead. And then she'd come it down like that. And then it would do that flip. The little bob flip like that. And I imagine they teased it up. Did they tease their hair in the 50s? I don't know if they teased their hair in the 50s. That's how she's going to be. That's how she's going to be. Uh, I might do that curl. It looks like horns now. <laughs> Let me paint that out. That's how it's going to be. Let me paint this out. Oops. Let me wash my brush out. Right now, it looks like she's got two horns on her forehead. <laughs> i got to wash out my brush. Let's get rid of this. Okay, okay. Hold the phone. I should cut that out and make it smaller. Because I think I got it how I want it. Let me cut it. I think I got it how I want it. And we're going to give her white curl buttons. We could give her earrings too, but I don't think her ears will show. There. That's much better. Now, I've got too many things on my desk. Let's paint, let's paint this out again. And what color of hair should I give her? Brown hair? See all these decisions. I like her sweater. 
now, but uh, what color am I going to make the scarf? The sweater is blue. Oh, too many decisions here. Let's give her brown hair. Ah, get some brown. I could give her blonde hair, but we're going to go for the brown. What's that purple? Purple hair? Where's my browns? Here's a sable brown. Dad would not let my mom cut my hair. Because <laughs> he wanted you to have long hair. This is kind of a light, a light tan brown. I'm trying, now, I have to determine what color I'm going to make this scarf. And, uh, of course, this is, is thin paint. We'll have to give it a couple coats. Gosh, let me tell you, it was easier to do the cage on this doll than figure out what a 1950s girl looks like. Let's put her hair in here. This paint is awfully thin. This deco art paint is so thin. Ah, it's not. Ah. I can't find another. Let's try this. A little bit darker. just doesn't look right to me there's no bangs uh, but I'm wanting to do that little curl on each side they had two little curls one there and one coming this way I'm not sure I might paint that out I'm not sure that they look right on here and then their eyes come down in here uh, flip. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm going to paint the curls out. I don't like it. <laughs> it looks like horns. looks like horns, but I guess they did kind of look like horns, those curls on the forehead. They'd make more sense if I had her face in there. Such a job to paint. To, if I had, if I was looking at something, I'm kind of inventing this as I go. And get rid of this whole thing here. Come back in and paint it again. This is this is 
how we get there. It's going to be cut out in the long run. I guess I'll give her bangs. I like this side. We're going to paint her out here. All of this will be cut in the background will be cut out, so I'm not too worried about it. Now paint this out too. We'll just play with her. The thing is, I have to let it dry. Yeah, now I'm giving her a... a fatter face. All right, let's try that. Put her hair back on her. Give her some bangs. I like her blouse now. I don't know what color to make the necktie. I think I'll give her a white collar. Let's give her a white collar for now. This is this is her collar here. And it kind of comes in there too. Maybe I should make her face more of a pinkish color. Uh, Mary's just figuring it out. Let's put a little pink on my page. Ooh, that's a lot. what I get for using the same brush for all the colors. Her neck in here. Eventually, I'll get it. Let's lighten that blue on that sweater a little. And I can get bangs now. <laughs> I 
that curl is going to be hard to do. Not what I wanted. Okay. Uh, gotta fix that face a little, it's too angular. I slipped on it. Angular here. Are you bored? Are you bored? I should have figured this all out ahead of time. I think I got, I think she's getting there. Good enough. We'll have to maybe lighten her hair a little up in here. No, I don't know. I can do that or not. That sable brown is an awfully thin paint. Yeah. Ask me if I know what I'm doing. I don't. Make her bangs a little bit longer. Now, what color of a necktie? What color of a necktie? Red. No, dark blue maybe. Dark blue. She's gonna have a dark blue necktie. English navy. Red, I think would. Yeah. Almost black. And I think it's maybe a little too big. give her some for now white white buttons running out of white paint and maybe a little of this darker blue and the shadow here I haven't even touched her face. She needs a uh, something in her hair. Maybe a headband. Should we give her a 
uh, a headband of sorts. It's not dry, but it'll go in there. My brush is too wet. Here I'm playing along with trying to get a 1950s looking girl. It's probably the least of my... I've got to paint the back of her, but I'm going to cut her out. Now, she's not very sophisticated. She's just kind of a... She's kind of a schoolgirl. She isn't a, a beautiful model in the 50s like you'd see whoever was back there in the 1950s. See that pink face again. Her neck. Her neckline. I'm going to paint this out again and put white buttons on it. We'll see how this looks in the long run. It's just a doll doll. It's not meant to be perfect. You know, that that scarf doesn't look right because what happened here is I have the knot over here and the, the collar there. If I have the knot there, I should probably have, a, have it coming around. So it should probably come around this way. That doesn't look right. It should probably come around this way and not in that way, sort of. And I'm not sure about the collar. <sighs> Let's paint this out. I think I like that better. That just didn't look right to me. And if it's a sweater, we could put a little dog on her sweater. Even though it probably was more on her skirt, but I don't have the skirt. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. So much trouble. So much trouble. This will be painted out here. Of course, my brush isn't clean. All 
All right. There she is. That's how she's going to be. I don't have a face on her. I gave her a, a flip. I think the flips were more 1960s. But when I looked in the... I saw a lot of flips. I saw a lot of flips. She looks more like 1960 to me than 50. Maybe she'll be a 1960s doll. <laughs> All right. I'm going to set her aside because I'm done. I'll have to think about her. I might do, might do her again. I might go look at something. Let's paint the shoes on this lady. I'm getting tired of this. Where's my other paint? Where's the other little one? It's over here. No, I'm going to do with it. There's the dark blue. Okay, let's put some of this back. I'm getting too much out again. Uh, tacky glue. Sable brown. I don't know what I did with the other blue. That's green. Is it in front of my face? I don't see it. I don't see my blue. I see the green. I see the dark blue. But I don't see what I did with the light blue. Oh, it's way over here. About ready to fall off of the cliff. That chipped off there. I don't know if it'll help to repaint it. It'll probably all chip off in the end. And I'll be probably regret this. Mary thinks she knows what she's doing. I don't know if this is going to work. I might just be making a big old mess out of it. I might have to come out and give it more than one coat. I kind of like it, though. It can be painted on the inside. That's the... Well, here's Mary making her mess. I think it'll turn out if I just keep going. Painting 3D objects is an experience. Because you think you have it and you don't. You have to look at it from all angles. I'm going to paint the rim. This is just the bottom, so... Okay.
Okay. Mary, what are you doing? I'm playing. <laughs> I do like it that color. I just got I need to keep going here. I don't know if I like these paints that well. They feel a little gummy to me. And I don't know if that's the way they're supposed to be. Got a little hair on it. But I'm thinking that they will cover the bobby pin better than, but actually I'm painting over craft paint, not bobby pin. The hairs. I don't know how I'm keeping you guys here. I'm thinking you must be bored silly stiff out of your gourd. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching me play. I think in the end, you, when I get to a certain point in here, I feel like giving up. And if I work through it, if I work through it, I'm always happy with it in the end. It just, you know, you just have to kind of work through the things that you aren't too sure about. I might have to come back in and touch this stuff up again. I do like them better being blue than, than black. The only reason I put white on there is because the blue wasn't showing. Now I got little dabs of white in here. I don't know how long it takes for this stuff to dry. This is the PEBO paint that I'm using. PEBO, the uh, white. Uh, I'm kind of liking it. It matches the blue up on top here. I, 
I'm going to let that dry. And I think I might need to... I don't think water is the best way to wash out this brush. I think I might need to clean it with uh, some Murphy's oil or whatever. I don't see any more blue coming off, but... All right, we're going to let that dry. And we're going to go back to my lady here. And this is pretty stiff board. We're going to cut her out. My girl. After all of that rigmarole. And I'm going to paint the back cover. Which I'm not going to worry as much about. away. I was thinking I'd get two dolls done, but that's not going to happen. What time is it? 5.04? I've been going, what, three hours, and this is all I got done? afraid to put her face on. <laughs> oh, dearie me. That's going to be tricky. that out again. I got it pretty good. I'll have to put some more brown on her hair there. I got those little blue hairs all over the place. Now I'm thinking of putting some white some white pearl buttons down the front here. And maybe rounding her collar a little bit more and letting her neck th show through. Uh, bringing her neck down, a the little pink of her neck down a little and letting the scarf show between, her neck show between the, the scarf and the sweater. Let's finish, let's finish this. Should probably do that with a exacto knife. Do you? 
you doing to my hair? She says. All right. Let's, let's paint our hair out here. I think this brush is dying on me. I'll probably have to toss it. It's just an old crafty one anyway. The bristles are coming out of it. Now that looks like the back of a hair. Go ahead. I'll just go in and paint her sweater out. That mix it with a little white. Oh, white's gone. Did I put my white over here on the table? I'm going to have to go and draw some 1950s ladies in my sketchbook. I should probably put, should have done that, but you know, you never do what you should do anyway. Now, let's do some sleeves in here, maybe with the darker blue. We'll put a, oh, see, so we've got to finish the headband here. Um, I don't know. I don't think she'd wear a headband and a barrette. That might be a little much. Now I'll give her some sleeves here. Some shadowing for the sleeves. And then a dark blue scarf showing there. Just on the very end. A little bit of her scarf showing through here. Got this side pretty good. Her brown hair. The ends here where I cut are a little flayed, but they almost look like the ends of the hair. I'm 
happy with her in the end. I'm afraid to touch this, but I'm going to. All right, I'm going to leave her. I'm going to put a face on her. That's what scares me. And I thought I was going to bring her neck down a little. I might mess the whole thing up doing this, but we'll see. Let's bring her neck down a little. Uh, right in. Right in here. And then we're going to have that scarf. Let me paint her neck in here. And paint that scarf in again. I'll give it my towel. <laughs> oh dear me. And that fell. navy blue back too. Put everything back too soon, getting it out of my way. I need more English navy. That must not have been what I used. I must use the different navy blue. It's dark enough. And I want the scarf to just kind of come like that. I sort of like that. Huh? Might be a little bit of a big scarf. She's a rebel. She's got a big scarf on. I'm going to leave her all of that and that's what I wound up with I think I'm going to have to let this dry overnight it's awful sticky but she's going to go and and I'm going to put a face on her who knows I might have to repaint it but if I could find a poodle I could try to paint a little poodle and put it on here I'll have to see what I have I kind of like the idea of some blue bling on there, too, but I don't know if I can find my blue bling. So what time is it? It's 517. I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. Ray, you might need, Mary, put some of those beads. Oh, yeah some beads she needs some be well would she wear beads with the some beads some beads some pearl beads but i don't know if she would wear a pearl necklace with uh with her next tie i'm gonna have to go look at ladies fashions i might paint another one um this is just kind of this one reminds me of a school girl here um i was thinking a beaded necklace would look nice but we got a necktie on there and I don't think that they'd wear a necktie with a beaded necklace but I could put some pearl buttons down the front but this is more of a sweater and I this is this I don't know if you would put 
but heck, <laughs> if she wants pearl buttons on her sweater, I guess it could be a cardigan sweater, couldn't it? Put some little, um, make it a cardigan sweater instead of a pullover sweater. Here, let's put a line down there. I might mess this up. I'm going to turn this upside down, let it dry. Make it a, a cardigan sweater coming down this way. Like that. And maybe kind of, I have to do this kind of light. Like that. And then have a pearl. Put the pearls down in here. Let me do another line. I think I'm going to have to toss this brush out because it's getting, hairs are starting to fall off of it. Yeah. I like that idea. And then we could use the pearl, the pearl beads down the front for the buttons. I don't know if you guys are seeing it. Let me zoom in on it just a little. I, I'm i not sure about this paint. Uh, I don't use it much. It feels kind of sticky to me. I'm going to have to read more about what they use PEBO -E paint for. Uh, I think Janet Nash was painting on her. Wasn't she painting on her? washi tape with this I can't remember I've got some that I bought brought it home from Wisconsin uh, let me oh yeah you guys can see her pretty good so let's put it let's put it like this let me zoom out now so I need to uh, it would be nice to now this will come up That'll come up in there like that. It'd be nice to get a little pink poodle dog, or a little dog. Pink poodle? Yeah, a little pink poodle. I might paint a little poodle dog and put on there. I'll have to draw one first. Uh, yeah. She, she, she's more of a teenager than a, than a, a lady, you know, a grown lady. She's more of a teenager. I think, with her hair flipped out and the bangs. Riri says, I slept way too much or not enough. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, tomorrow's Thursday. I'll probably stream tomorrow morning. I'm going to go look at some images, maybe do a little sketching in my sketchbook. And, and that's probably what I should have done here. A little more research rather than just thinking I had it. <laughs> but I do like the skirt. I love the base. I love the base. So I think that part is real successful. This, this like I said, I think she's more of a teenager. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to sign off. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this afternoon. Have a great day. And tomorrow's Thursday. I'll be on tomorrow morning. And uh, what is that? Oh, shoot. It's not paint <laughs> on the curtain. I was a little worried. Um, uh, I'll be on tomorrow morning. And who comes on after? Oh, uh, um, I don't know if Kathy Berg. She came on Tuesday. Uh, the other Kathy, Arbor. Or Jamie, or one of them. But I'll be on tomorrow morning. Bye. Those bobby pins are your signature touch. Yeah, the bobby pins were fun. See if you can see it close up. See it close up. The bobby pins are fun, and they, she's got blue feet on. I almost feel like putting white socks on her. <laughs> you know, it'd be fun if I could bring some of these pearls and put them on her sweater. 
maybe take some of these little blue blings off and put them on it. No, it has to be white pearl. It has to be the white ones, and they're too big. So, anyway, fun. It's fun to play. All right, bye.